Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly meeting for the 8th to the 15th of October. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week, all right? This is going to apply to you if you have sun, moon, rising in uh, Libra. You predominantly want to check out your rising sign reading. I'm going to post a video this week all about that over on my channel, so keep your eye peeled for it. Uh, there's a specific reason why we always talk and by we, I mean uh, anybody who does astrology, tarot, talk about the importance of receiving messages, specifically astrological or zodiac messages, from your rising sign because they will be most aligned with your individual energy, all right? You have a, a really, really potent week coming up here, Libra, with the new moon solar eclipse in your sign on the 14th of uh october ushering in not only eclipse season but massive transformational change in your life that uh will impact you all very differently uh but definitely will impact you uh nonetheless that's too many cards what's happening here is a complete upheaval ha, speaking of the moon uh, a complete upheaval here of what's currently transpiring in your life and no longer serving you or supporting your growth or your expansion and also what you hold on to from past lives uh, that you still bring into this current lifetime that also are not serving you anymore the reason for this is the south node being in libra the south node in astrology is connected to your gifts and your lessons it's connected to your past lives your past experiences and what you've mastered in previous lives um but yet um potentially still holds on to as part of a clutch or as part of a uh, codependency to stop you from stepping into your divine purpose your destiny your um soul mission this time around on earth all right libra so as we look at these cards there's a lot of swords energy here and when i see a lot of swords energy i can see that the mind is going to be very active this week i can see that you're going to be really analyzing very intellectual uh, very much in this continual cycle of thinking about all the things that have transpired up until today or the day that you watch this video even leading into uh, Libra season here, there are all these cards that indicate how your mindset could have maybe become your own mental imprisonment. Now, we have discipline here showing up as your mantra card, and it says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to do. With the moon here again and cancer energy, intuition, fears, illusions, overthinking, and also the divine realm are all playing a role here. What is illusion? What is fear? What is truth? What is your destiny? Now, the last card you got for the Oracle before we dive into the Tarot, it says, Sophia, divine plan, wisdom, intelligence, destiny. What'd your girl say? What did I say earlier on in this reading, right? I told you, you are being propelled forward into your destiny, but you need to understand also that through the journey towards your destiny, Libra, there may be also some obstacles, some challenges, or maybe some resistance. Now, the chariot starting off your reading is kind of nice because it talks about willpower, it talks about determination, about it talks about taking control of your life. However, followed through with that five of swords, I feel like, um, and the two of swords, I feel like sometimes you know the direction that you need to take, Libra, but then you let other people's opinions, other people's perceptions, you know, other people's points of views really stop you from stepping into your life purpose because you start operating for other people. And, you know, that's low octave Libra energy. We all have high octave and low octave energy, okay? So don't don't get offended by that. But the low octave of Libra energy is really when you stop operating for yourself and you start doing for everybody else. You want to please people. You want to make other people happy. You want other people to approve of you. You want other people to celebrate you. You want other people to like you. And so you become this charming individual who really just wears a bunch of masks instead of just being you you start you know bending the knee for other people and I think you're listening to this and maybe even getting a little bit triggered or a little bit annoyed but you got to hear this too because I know you if you're watching if you're a Libra who watches my channel if you're a Libra who watches my video you're a high vibrational Libra you're a high octave Libra and if you're not there yet that's what you aspire to be right I don't call in a low octave energy low octave people to my videos anymore because that's just not the vibe that I align with nor the vibe that I want in our community what I'm seeing here though is this recognition that you've gone through almost like awakening almost like seeing things from a different perspective Libra you're now going wait like have I truly been living authentically maybe not 
With that Four of Swords and that Eight of Swords, as we get closer and closer and closer to the Ring of Fire, which is what astronomers are calling this eclipse on the 14th, it's like the energy is just going to build and build and build and build. And then before you know it, you're just going to be like... But in the best way possible, with that Four of Swords and that Eight of Swords, it's like you rest, you you remodel, you reset, you review, you reassess Eight of Swords. You start recognizing and realizing how trapped these, these limiting beliefs that are not even yours have uh, created so much pain and suffering and difficulty and challenges in your life. And you almost start feeling like your highest self, your truest self, your self connected to God directly, just wanting to just break free and come out. With that Seven of Cups, oh man, the options, the choices. Choices. You start like literally almost like, I don't want to say disassociating, but seeing your life from a different lens and going, whoa, there are many directions that I can take right now. And I'm not going to choose to experience the pain and suffering because some of the clouds uh, and the options in the clouds, I should say, are pain and suffering. You're not going to do that anymore. Mm -mm -mm. And what are you doing instead? the ace of cups you're choosing to propel yourself forward with all new emotions with all new feelings with all new positive energy to support you and help you in your enlightenment journey okay now one of the things i want to share with you before we dive into your love reading is the amulet that you got from starcy jewels it's my jewelry line i create modern day amulets to support you uh with attracting different types of energies i wear a bunch of them myself the one you got this uh week is called priestess it is connected to that's right the high priestess in tarot it's connected to your intuition it's connected to source directly your connection to god to your highest power to your highest self is a very very important this week so if you want to tap into that energy you're going to want to pick up priestess it's in the link over at stars and jewels in the description box below it's got moonstone and blue lace agate all right or you can take a look and see all the different collections for the different energies that you are wishing to align with ever attract Ditto, if you want to book a session with me, join my free newsletter, uh, join my school and start learning how to deepen your spiritual practice and continue to evolve and go through your awakening journey. All the details for connecting with me, working with me, etc. are all, all in the description box below. Okay, now let's dive into this love reading we've got here. Romantic feelings, forgiving and learning and engagement. Mm. Six of Swords, romantic feelings. Some obstacles here in your love life too, Libra. Uh, learning the the karmic bonds that you have, Ace of Swords, forgiving and learning. Aces, which I like, new beginnings here. You're learning a lot here about um, maybe uh, potentially some of the pain, some of the suffering, some of the ego, some of the, um, you know, uh, denial that you may have experienced in the past in your love life that has kept you from attracting this divine partner or your ideal partner eight of swords and engagement you got two eight of swords here if you are in a relationship there may be some obstacles some challenges this week or some things may be coming up to help you clear through right here healing uh if you're completely single like a pringle i think one of the biggest things you're recognizing and realizing right now is how your parents romantic relationship or the relationships that you were surrounded by growing up have negatively impacted you from attracting new love. And when you practice that level of awareness, that's where the magic happens because that's where you start to change, shift the mindset, rewire, create a whole new script that will help you to attract the love of your life. I'm going to pop a video right here to help you with attracting the love of your life. And if you want to book a session, pick up your amulet or join me in any of my other private communities, including Sanctum, which is our private membership only community. It's in the description box below. I look forward to to seeing you there and we will see you later alligator peace out bye